Today marks exactly six months since a gas leak at Allen Benedict Court took the lives of two men. Calvin Witherspoon Jr. and Derek Roper died and more than 400 residents were told to evacuate the housing complex for good. Our Jenna Krasina spoke with one of those former residents on how life has been half a year later. It was least expected. That's how mother of two Mary Mitchell describes the tragedy that changed her and her family's life. She lived in unit L8 at Allen Benedict Court Apartments and six months ago after the gas leak, two men died, 61 year old Calvin Witherspoon Jr. and 30 year old Derek Roper. Plus 411 residents were evacuated from their homes, including Mitchell. Very emotional. It was days I cried, days I just prayed and prayed praying things will get better. For months, residents lived in hotels, but for Mitchell, her four-year-old son and eight-year-old daughter lived with family members. It had a huge effect because I was so used to staying on my own with just me and my kids, and it put me in a place where I had to go back to family, not saying that I didn't want to go back, but I kind of like my own space. She stayed at her uncle's for more than two months, and as she continued to look for a place, she was frustrated. I just didn't know where I was going to turn next. Her oldest child had problems in school. She started acting more different as like school-wise, grades were slipping and behavior was getting out of control. And living on a different side of town made daily errands and seeing family difficult. Everything was in walking distance for me. We always talked, sat on the porch, things like that. I kind of do miss that. I mean, I have nice neighbors now, but they're not the ones that are from Alabama to court. Now, Mitchell is in a new apartment, and six months later, after a whirlwind of emotions, she is thankful to be getting her life back on track. In Columbia, Jenna Kurzina, News 19, WLTX. Well, Mitchell tells Jenna that six months from now, she hopes to be in a home and not living in a Columbia Housing Authority property. All right.